Hi, this is Jack Buffington for Hackaday.com. I'm going to show you the wire function for EagleCAD schematic. If you look at the screen, I have five buttons here that I need to connect one terminal each to, say, ground. If I go here on the toolbar, this is my wire button. Alternately, I can come up here and type wire. Now, I can click on the end of a terminal and click to another to connect them. And I may still have a wire hanging off of here. If I hit escape, that allows me to get out of that. Now, let's say I click move. I can see that these are indeed actually connected. Sometimes you'll find that something, I'll try to do it here, may connect accidentally, right there like that. You want to be wary of that with wires. That was a problem because I had a little jog in there. Sometimes it may be handy when you do a wire to change the mode that you're in. And here are the different modes that you can be in. Maybe I might want it to go directly from one point to one point. So this looks awfully sloppy uh, the way I have it. But uh, in certain situations, let's say I had a whole bunch of header pins coming off of a processor, I may choose to have them come radially, uh, or let's not say header pins. Let's say I had five analog to digital converters that take up a bunch more space. I might just have them coming at different angles, and I might use this, in which case it's the neatest way to route things. But the wire also creates, if we go into our schematic, or our uh, layout, we can see that all of these are now connected together with an unrouted wire, which paves the ground for me to actually route them. That was the wire command for EagleCAD schematic and layout. This is Jack Buffington for Hackaday.com.